to Danima. Welcome back, everybody, to Imperion Galactic Survival. I'm Noadal DM. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. Hanging out, playing some more Alpha 8, playing Season 6 of Imperion Galactic Survival. So, last episode, we restarted and got back to uh, close, as close to where we were as we could. Um, we spawn back in everything that we had after gathering up all the resources and everything and well you guys didn't see that but i did all that and uh we spawned in the last hope mark two so uh today i think we need to go ahead and take the last hope out for a test flight call it a uh shakedown cruise if you will and uh, i think we're just gonna go close by to a neighboring system and uh, we're just going to head back over here to Danima. And uh, I'll show you guys the new desert planet that they have. Uh, for those of you who don't know, they replaced the old desert planet. They called the old desert planet Arid. And then created an entirely new uh, desert planet uh, with like a desert playfield. And uh, they're calling that the desert. And the new one is amazing. Um, it looks a lot like Tatooine with like lots of, well, nothing. So in any case, uh, okay, let's go ahead, activate flight systems. And uh, let's do a vertical takeoff. Oh yeah, there we go. And we're heading off into space. And you'll notice it only uses 18% when in the atmosphere. So I don't think I'm going to need any more generators. I've got three large generators and that's it. And uh, it uses, you know, a small amount of power while we're in the atmosphere. In space it uses even less. Um, and I can gear it to use even less on the planet. Uh, activating and deactivating the uh, grab generators and that sort of thing. Uh-oh. Uh, let's activate the oxygen so we don't need to have our helmet while inside the ship. Alright, here we are in space. Let's take a look. Relock. And here we are. Now, before we go, I'm going to go ahead and uh, deactivate the Robinson Protocol. We're almost done with it, but I think I want to wait a little longer until we have a lot more Sathium and stuff and uh, where, when I can get a Titan built up to take out the rest of that. Maybe. I might not even finish it. I mean, the, the uh, only thing that would give me a reward is we'd get a minigun and a thousand minigun rounds for doing this and then for finishing the whole thing we'd get medium armor a little bit of intaxid a little bit of gold a laser rifle and laser rifle cells so i don't think we're going to really need to do that so i'm going to go ahead deactivate story go into solo missions and i think i'm going to go ahead and activate drone hunter and we're going to do drone hunter uh, killing drones when we see them um, and that'll reward us w with uh, what does that reward us with an enhanced minigun and minigun rounds and even more gold coins so in any case let's head on out to Danima alright we're here in orbit around Danima and, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and land on the planet. While we're doing that, let me set up. Uh, 
this. Um, let's see, I've got four up facing ones. I'm gonna have to choose the specific down ones I want to key to this. Um, and then I have to move them out from there. But I do want to go ahead and grab generator, key that to Where is atmospheric mode? Right there. So it'll deactivate when this is off and that'll turn the generator on. So you'll notice it uses a lot of power for the grab generator. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off since I'm gonna be going into the planet. But uh, when we're in space, uh, I'll reactivate it if I need it. All right, so we're coming down here and uh, you'll notice the main biome of the planet is sand and dunes and you know and then there's sand dunes but all throughout here you'll notice these little spots like that and those are what they're what they call plantations and each plantation has a nearby neutral settlement and uh Let's see, let's let our turrets do their job. Take out that minigun drone. Okay. And uh, unfortunately, we, to park near this settlement, we're going to have to park out here in the sand. But that's okay. Now, did I take any damage? I took a little bit of damage, but that's okay. I should be able to repair... Okay, I do want auto brake on and we're gonna land right here Flight systems off. We're a little bit slanted, but that's okay. I mean you can't really find a perfect landing spot even uh, On a real desert planet Ooh. so Let's come down here and uh, take a look at this uh hub which is over here the shuttle hub and uh see what it has now the gravity on this planet is heavier than on the other planet on than on uh the temperate planet Histini, but it's still less than earth and uh this is a size three planet so it's the same size as Kistini. the second smallest size you can have okay so they've got the stimulant mushrooms and the vegetables here okay let's go ahead grab this we'll pick up the vegetables while we're here because vegetables are always nice I've got more than enough stimulant stuff so I ain't even gonna bother with that um, grab all this. Ooh, and they have berries too. Akua berries, nice. And let's see what they got over here. Lots of stuff for us to, uh, uh, w what would you call it? Uh, l l let's call it requisitioning. Yeah, we're, we're requisitioning uh, materials. Or confiscating. You can call it confiscating, I suppose. Although, you know, it, it's, it's, we're, we're, Taking it because we need it, not because they were doing something wrong with it or that it was illegal. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, let's come on over in here and see what they've got. Ooh, oxygen boost. Nice. Hey, you got a bit of food. I'll take that. Nothing. Don't you guys know you should keep some uh, 
medical supplies in your bathrooms. That's a uh, uh, Federation law, I, I, I believe. Ah, that's what we needed. Decontamination kit. That's nice. Ooh, look at all this. All right. I'm not going to worry too much about the rest of that. Uh, we can come back and loot it if we want. But I'm excited to show you guys the rest of the planet, especially the uh, trade hub. I don't have a whole lot of ammo for the uh, assault rifle, do I? All right, let's get on up in here and put this stuff in here. Like so. Um, I'm going to keep the power storage over here. And for the mess hall, we got more vegetables and some berries. Oh, cereal. Yes. The cereals need to go in the refrigerator because that's a thing. Um, let's head back to the cockpit and... Uh, See if we can get to the trade hub. I'd really like to get some coins put in. Oh, I didn't put the meat burger away. Oh, well, I'll just eat it. I'd like to see if I can get some uh, gold coins going. Uh, I, ha I didn't collect a lot of gold back on Kistini, unlike before, uh, where I had quite a bit. Ooh, you see that over there? That over there, my friends, is the uh, planet vessel, the patrol vessel. We don't want to uh, get too close to that, so um, I'm going to make sure that our turrets are set, and uh, we might end up having a co a uh, a combat between uh, capital vessels. But I think I want to go ahead and try to land over here at the trade station. And uh, there's a comm center. I don't want to uh, get too close to that. Let's see if we can get to the trade station. And uh, I know I'm taking a little bit of damage. I have to be. Unless it's missing. Nah, I took a little bit. Um, I don't want to get too close to POIs because this thing is just regular steel. Um, I do want to find a Sathium deposit and start making up uh, hardened steel plates so that I can utilize that for, uh, for the ship, uh, the ship's hull, turning it into hardened steel and then combat steel. All right, so we're going to go past this other plantation right here, and the trade station is actually right nearby. Uh, we're actually not going to pass it. We're going to get close to it. Um, hopefully, there's a landing platform large enough for me to repair my uh, ship at, but even if there's not, I can manually repair it. Now, you'll notice there's a bunch of wreckage around this trade station. Ugh. I wasn't paying attention. Alright, we're going to try to land in this flat-ish area right here. Not too far away. Uh, we're going to keep the turrets going, but we're going to turn off the flight systems. And uh, we can go ahead and repair up some of this damage we got right here. And uh, then let's see what we've got damage-wise on the exterior. 
I don't think we have any damaged uh, devices. I think we just have a little bit of cosmetic damage. Now, one good thing about this planet is that it's oxygenated. Not all desert planets are. Um, but at least we've got a chance to... Uh, we don't have to worry about wasting oxygen while we are here. And I know I got at least one more damaged one back here somewhere. There it is. It's difficult to see sometimes the damage if it's not blatantly obvious. Why is that gray? I knew I would forget something somewhere. <laughs> um, that might be all the damage we took, but I don't think so. Uh, now nah, we're still at 99%. So we got a little bit of damage somewhere to uh, repair up. But uh, eventually we're going to put a repair platform probably in orbit around Kistini and utilize that a lot to repair. Um, it's probably just going to be like a little repair buoy. But uh, in any case, let's head over here to the trading station. I only marked it because I wanted to bring you guys over here. And let's see what they have over here at the trade station. There's one of the little biped dinosaur things. Um, the neodymium deposit that I got was actually right up on top of that hill. Um, I mined it out so that I didn't have to worry about it. Now, is there anyone selling crew members here? I don't think think so weapons and commodities are people considered commodities no I think you have to go to a PAX purgatory to hire crew members uh, which I don't know where if there's one here I don't think there is we've got a medical Oki medical supplies uh, a non-functional teleporter Servant core hardware and utilities. Okay. Let's see. What do we have in here? Ah, Pax Purgatory. There we go. Crew. Um, we've got one human crew and three alien crew. We need a decent amount of I. Uh, of credits for them and I don't currently have any did I get any gold I don't think so let's see let's head back to the last hope and find out um, you know I've got this bike that I could be using to make the trips back and forth Okay, let's see what resources we have and what we can sell and where. Okay, we don't have any gold. That's fine. Um, we got a decent amount of iron. But I don't think we really have anything that we want to sell. Oi. I see a lot of resources all over the place here. Uh, let's see. Ammunitions are going to go in there. Um, mm, let's see. That's oxygen. Medicals, of course, go in here in sick bay. 
even though they uh, don't have any preservation timers, I figured putting them in the refrigerator is you know a good storage place. Um. All right. Let's see what's out this way. Now there is one way that I can get gold coins and potential crew. And I think I'm going to utilize that. And it's something that I discovered a while back. If I want to get free crew members, all right, and uh, not have to worry about, there's a little bit of gold, not have to worry about getting a lot of gold and hiring crew members if I want to, shall we say, conscript crew members. Um, let's see, I already got all these. All right, did I get all this? Yes, what about that? Yes. I did not get that one though. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Around this place there is a farm. And there's got to be one other thing nearby. I mean, where is this that I just left? I just left the farm. There's the iron all over the place. Okay. So if you want to get crew members, but you're not willing to spend the time to get all the gold to hire crew members, what you can do I'm going to go ahead and get a second one. Let's just go ahead and get five. See, now I only need one right now. And most of the crew that you're going to get this way are going to be alien because, you know, aliens are the most populous in the galaxy. Now let's see, does this farm have people in it? Anyone that I can conscript or is it just a farm? Um, it sounds like there are droids and there is Aunt Mary's. What's back here? Exit. Okay. So what about over in these living quarters? Are there people to conscript? Ah, yes. I can get one, two, three, four five, six, at least seven people from here. I really ought to be looting the place too, but I'm not going to worry about this, about that too much. I'm going to get the uh, stuff that you can't access with a, uh, that you can't access with a control panel but I'm going to pretty much ignore everything else. I got this stuff out of the refrigerator because I might need some food. All right, I need to find the core. I think the core is in this building somewhere. Maybe not. Maybe it is in that building that I was just in. All right, let's check back in the other building. I know somewhere there's got to be a core. I think it's behind there. That's a ventilator. I think the core is behind. Yeah, see, I know my way around here. And now, 
I could have gone through the back too. But now. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six more crew members now. Seven. <laughs> and uh, devices, cargo boxes. And I can just loot through here. I think I got most of it. Finally, on Imperion Galactic Survival Iron Man, Know-It-All DM takes on the dreaded drone base. Will he survive this final test of endurance and fortitude? Find out Wednesday on Know-It-All DM Entertainment. And Leon Studios is not responsible for any deaths, maiming, or wanton destruction that occurred due to this competition. Iron Man is not for everyone. Side effects include entertainment, laughter, bouts of fatigue from laughter, and of course, death. Okay, so I got most of that. Um, let's see. Let's look in equipment. Okay, I can't access any of these through here. I didn't think so. Um, bridge. And I think, yeah, that last one I've already uh, utilized. So I'm going to actually leave this place running with my core and everything um, because I can come back and harvest the stuff in the... Uh, in the gardens. And that's a big help, um, especially with all that coffee. Well, cave beans, but we got honey and plant protein over here. But this over here is going to be the biggest help with the uh, berries down there. And we've got fruits and grain and stuff up here. So we can get all this. Cannot pick up inventory is full. Yeah. yeah, you bet it is. Um, and now we can head back to the last hope and we can come back here at any time. And we've got our crew members or at least seven of them. Um, I'd like to get a few human crew members, but that the, I believe the only way to get human crew members is to, uh, hire them at Pax Purgatory. Um, now, I could have gotten extra gold coins by uh, disassembling them instead of picking them up whole, but I wanted full crew members. Um, anything, I think, everything else can either go in the refrigerator or... Uh, pizza, waffles, this, that, and that, and this can go in there. The grains can go in here, as can that. And then medical. Um, cargo. Let me go ahead and put a second multi-boost on here. And I'll put the rest of that in there. Oh, I forgot to put the milk away. Um, shotgun. Okay. And then let's find a place for our crew members, shall we?
Okay, fuel will go in here like so. All right, let's see where I can put my crew members. I can have them either standing up or working at stations. I prefer my crew to be working. Uh, so I'm gonna start over here. We're gonna start with you. And you'll go right here. Uh, let's see, what other consoles do we have that we can put people at? Uh, you can be here working at that console. Uh, it's a receptionist desk, that's that. I think that's the only things that I've got. Um, let's put a few in here as off-duty crew members like so um, I'm gonna put some security guards around as well uh, we need security heading towards the bridge and in engineering so let's see In engineering, let's put some security personnel. Eesh, where should I put them? Uh, one right here ought to be good. And then... I think that's all we really need is one in engineering. I need to get a medic, but I think I'd prefer a human medic. Not that I'm discriminating against aliens, I just think a human medic would be more competent. Okay, so I'm discriminating against aliens. Um, and let's put a security guard right here on the bridge. Now I've got two more alien crew members I wonder if I can sell them at Pax Purgatory and uh, and acquire a human instead. Okay. Alien. Okay, you cannot sell alien crew. I mean, I, I, it's, yeah, I thought you might be able to. You know, it's 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 a potential thing. So instead of uh, being a slave trader, um, let us do this. All right. So thank you guys for your volunteering, but I do not require your services. You're free to go. And then somewhere there's got to be an ATM that I can uh, put these in. Right over here looks good. There, I got a hundred credits from them. Not that I needed the credits. I mean, I do in order to get a human, but a human is how much? A uh, human crew is almost, you know, almost a thousand. So I'd have to sell 18 more to get one human crew member. Uh, let's see what we've got going on over here. This appears to be something that we can acquire possibly gold and such from. The very least we can get materials. That's weird. Ah, gold ingot, nice. Building it will be very useful in uh, getting personnel. Okay. 
Okay, not that I need any more tier one multi-tool, so I think I'm just gonna leave that. I've got like four of them back at the base on uh, Kistini. Okay, I'll take that. All right, that's not bad. Uh, let's let's head back here. The reason that I want human crew members, to, honestly, is because I. Uh, they're at different devices than aliens. That's that's the only reason uh, they run different consoles. So um, I could put some in my auxiliary control. I could put some more over here, you know, in, in places that I, you know, can use them rather than just in not places that I can use them. Go ahead and make up some gold coins. That'll give me 50 gold coins. Um five gold coins not 50 but it's 50 credits per so that's uh 250 uh, that, that that's a uh a quarter of a human <laughs> uh let's go ahead and grab that and i'll put that there Um, let's head the medicine should go in here and we can continue our trek around here into here and devices go in there and oxygen goes in here this is going to be emergency oxygen like so Oh, let me. And then we'll head back over to the mining hub and see if we can uh, take its core out. We're not going to replace its core because, well, it doesn't have any human crew, but uh, I could get a whole lot of crew members from the mining hub as well. Alien crew members, of course, but. Okay. Now, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the core to this place is somewhere under here or under there. I don't remember. But let's go ahead and come in here. I know there are... Uh, useful items in here okay and then we got some more fuel over there and that there um i'm not positive where the core is on this one to be honest. It might be underneath the main platform. I might just not worry about it. If I can't find it. if I can find it I can actually uh, I could actually uh, take it out and get more gold coins from the uh, crew in here Okay, so I've looted the entire thing. Uh, 
I'm not going to worry about the uh, about the core unless I can just spot it somewhere because I'm not going to take apart this whole thing looking for a core. It's probably well hidden. And if it's not, well, yeah. That's not the core up there. The core could be underneath that. It could be. Let's see. I oh, the thing's got a lot of health. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I'm going to head back to the last hope. And uh, we'll see if we can find another means of getting gold coins to increase our crew. Okay, so in addition to the mining hub and the farm and the trade station, there's a bunch of smaller POIs. But those are the three main ones. So I think I'm going to continue heading out and see if we can find another POI. Now, whoa, in addition to the plantations, there is this biome here, which I believe is called the flowers biome. No, this is the dust bowl. Okay, so this is just a whole bunch of rocks and... And I don't know what kind of bushes those are. But somewhere there's a biome called Flowers, which I want to take a look at. What is this over here? Is that a hostile POI? I think that's a hostile POI. It could be neutral, though. Refinery? No, it's definitely hostile. Okay. Alright, let's take a look at the map and see what we've gotten so far. Um, there is no gold on the planet deposit-wise. We've got a shuttle hub, a comm center, a comm center, and an oxygen depot. Mining hub is over here. That's where I came down previously. And then the shuttle hub's where we came down this time. I think I want to continue heading east a bit and uh, see if we can discover any other neutral uh, things. I think I might just sit down up here on the top of this little hill here and I uh, are on the top of this mountain I suppose and I uh, take the racer out because the racer can move a lot faster than this so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna sit down that's not where I expected to sit down let's back up Since I can't see my shadow often, that's a bit better. There we go. Alright. Now, we're not terribly slanted, so we should be okay. Um, I'm going to keep the turrets running, of course, just in case. 
but we should be fine. Let's go ahead and take the racer out and do an exploration of the planet. All right, if I head straight this way, that's a rocket drone. Correction, that was a rocket drone. Um, and we can do a little bit more exploration because this thing moves a lot quicker than the last hope and we can avoid taking damage a little bit better. Alright, so we're coming up on this mining hub, which I took a look at before. Um, I believe this is the same type as what we had over here, so I'm not even going to bother on stopping. Let's see if I can determine if there's any other plantations because plantations tend to have the neutral POIs. I don't see any more in here because the plantations tend to have large circles. So we're just going to continue on this way sort of south southeast-ish area and see what we can find. All right, so right over here is the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, the patrol vessel's base. And it looks like there's a few other uh, hostile POIs nearby. Actually, that's a crashed capital vessel right over here. I don't think it's worth stopping for, but it's worth noting that it is there. Ooh, what do we have over here? That's a defense, Rados defense. So this is a Rados owned planet. That looks like that's the drone base right there. Nope, oh, that's a refinery. I'm sure the drone base is nearby because I uh, there's a lot of things here. That might be the drone base over there that I'm looking at. All right, so that's the plantation that we started at today. That might have some more crew members that we can grab for gold. Yeah, it's weird. You can actually kill people for gold by disassembling them. It doesn't make any sense to me, but... Um, it would make more sense if you... Oh, that's the oxygen depot. 
Hold on. I don't think the oxygen depot actually has any weapons on it. But the oxygen depot is a major POI. Uh, one of the harder ones. That That is what would be called the uh, Rados Bunker, I believe. Let's see, that off there is the comm center. All right, I want to head more north and see if I can find some more uh, neutral POIs. And if I can't, I'll probably just head back to the last hope, which I ought to go ahead and bada bing, bada boom, put it on there. All right, so coming around this way, quickest way to the last hope anyway. Although, yeah, because I've almost flown around the planet. something but that looks hostile to me that looks like a uh, weapons bunker comm center took a little bit of damage but that's okay All right, I think I ought to just head back to the last hope. Uh, let's go a little bit of a roundabout way. I really need to come down this area and search down here. But I'm pretty sure all the neutral POIs are uh, all those near here and those other two that we had. So we're going to head on back over here to the last hope. And uh, I think we're going to want to go ahead and uh, head home back to Kistini. Um, because from there we can plan a flight plan as to exactly where it is we want to go and what our goal for our next mission was. This mission was basically just to show you guys the uh, desert planet and to gather a crew. And of course, I don't have a full crew complement, just a few minor workers. But, uh, yeah, we got. You know, it looks a bit more lively on here with our uh, our little bit of a crew that we got. What I'm hoping to get, I'm hoping to get a first officer, which would probably just be labeled officer, to put up here on the bridge somewhere, maybe standing right here, um, and to get like a, a chief engineer and a medical officer, you know, just you know, to flesh out the crew, but those are all human officers. So we're definitely gonna have to, uh, to come back here probably 
uh, to get more human officers. There aren't any on Kistini because there aren't any neutral POIs on Kistini, so there's no Pax Purgatory. Um, ooh, I got some damage on the top. That's where the damage is, I see. Um, but yeah, we're going to head on back to Kistini and probably take a look at its moon because I believe that Kistini's moon does have some neutral POIs and uh, we'll probably want to utilize that to get more resources. And we'll try to increase our gold revenue by taking a look at some of the, uh, uh, whatchamacallums, the tip of my tongue, oasises on Kistini. Uh, so we're going to take a look at some of the oasises on Kistini, see if we can get some gold to hire crew members. And then we're going to take a look at the moon, but we're going to do all that next episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like button for me. And if you want to see more Imperion Galactic Survival, go ahead and subscribe. I'm Know It All DM, and as always, y'all have a good day.